let's give a brief introduction to tangency. A tangent is a straight line which touches the circumference of a circle or the arc of a circle without cutting through it. We'll be, now we'll be constructing a circle which is 50 millimeters and then we'll join the tangent to the circle. Let's start by measuring the radius 50 millimeters. That's necessary. Be careful when drawing your circle. When drawing yours, it should be a faint line, but for it to be visible for everybody to see, I have to draw mine. Then we have to draw intersecting lines. Then using your 30 by 60 set square, you should draw this. This side should be your point of origin, so you could get a straight line. And to ensure that the line is extending throughout the circle, you could guide that with your ruler. Be careful while doing that. Yeah. So now, this is our intersection. This is the point of intersection. We mark it and call it our O. Then, for us to be able to get our tangent to this circle, I'm just going to draw any radius. From the point of the circle to the circumference. And then using your 30 by 60 set square again, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line to the line we already made. Touching the circumference of the circle. Be careful, don't let it come out of the circle or into the circle. Now, this is our tangent. You have to make that tip. Because that's the most important thing. Yes, so this is our tangent. Since it's touching the circumference of the circle. Now let's leave it. This is a tangent. This point where it's touching the circle, the circumference rather, is what we call the point of tangency. This line we drew is what we call the normal. And with the aid of a protector, you could check to be sure that this normal and the tangent are perpendicular to each other. Let's check that out. Perfect. This is at 90 degrees to each other. That's to show us that we got a perfect tangent. We could just put a little sign here showing us that this is at right angle to each other. To draw an arc of a circle to touch two given circles externally, we're giving the radius of the two circles. The first one, radius 30 millimeters. Measure that. And as usual, draw the intersecting lines. First line of intersection. Then the second line of intersection. Then we're told that the centers of A and B. 15 millimeters apart, we'll have to extend this horizontal line of intersection.
We want to measure 50 millimeters. Starting from our origin. And we're told that the centers of A and B are 17 millimeters apart. So after drawing this point of intersection indefinitely, you have to measure out your 17 millimeters, which is 7 centimeters. You mark that point. That point is going to be our point of origin for the second circle with radius 20 millimeters. Measure your radius. 20. Careful. And draw it gently. Now, to draw the hack, we'll be doing little logic here, something that requires little logic. We're told that the hack would have a radius of 60 millimeters. And for us to be able to draw an arc, an external hack to be precise now, that's going to cut through these two circles. Let's think of putting on a bag. When you put on a bag, you're adding an extra weight to yourself. So definitely, You'll be adding your weight and that of the bag to make the total weight. So definitely, if you're going to be drawing an arc externally to touch these two circles, you're going to be adding the radius of the arc, which is 60 millimeters, to that of the circles, the two circles respectively. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. So let's start with our circle A. In order to be able to get the exact point, where our hack is going to be starting from, we'll add 60 plus 30, and 60 plus 30 is 90 millimeters. So let's measure 90 millimeters. And then, with the radius we already measured, put it on the point of origin there and mark, strike an arc. Then, for the second circle, 60 plus 20, that is 80 millimeters. Just measure 80 millimeters. Do the same thing, repeat the same procedure. Put it on the origin of the circle and mark. So this is our point. Let's name the point P. Okay, from our point P already labeled, you measure your 60. You know we're told the arc has a radius of 60 millimeters. So Measure your 60 millimeters and put it on the point P. Then draw. Yeah, make an arc. This is the arc that we need. The arc we've been sourcing for. So, in order to get your marks in full, you have to make the arc the most detailed thing to drawing. Because it's the most important thing. Okay, now let's label our points. While drawing, from this place, this is our point P rather, to the origin of our circle O. Let's draw a faint line, it should not be too thick. And if you recall, what we did at the other point was our big R, which is 60 mm. You don't need to write 60 mm, you just write R plus. A, which is 60 plus 30. That's just like a detailed summary of what we did. Then let's repeat the same procedure for the circle B. Write the same thing there. R plus B. Then don't forget the radius of your circle A. Label it 
so it will be noted that it is A from the center of the circle to that point is A and from the center of the circle to this point is B